Thank you so much for returning to my channel. Today's venue is Selfish and Baked Bean with Okro and String Bean with Green Banana, Yellow Yam and Dumpling and I'll be making some Mala Tea. Here I have some salted pollock. It's my substitute for saltfish because I can't get the original Jamaican saltfish. So what I do is, because it's kind of salt, it has been preserving salt for a while, it's very salt. So I'll boil it, I'll throw off the water, then I'll boil it again to remove excess salt, and then, you know, I'll take it out of the water fully. Okay guys, so you can see that it's in big pieces. So what we do, we break the part to get smaller pieces, you know, cause I mean, we're gonna cook it, you know, in the pot, we're not gonna have these big pieces. So we'll break it up in smaller pieces to actually, you know, do the final thing. And here it is. So we're gonna be starting on the food section right now. Ingredients, salt, flour, um, some water, and cornmeal. All right, so depends on the amount of persons you're feeding. Oh my God, I made a spill. The amount of flour that you use depends on the amount of persons you're feeding. Um, you're gonna add cornmeal. How you want your dumpling actually determines the amount of cornmeal you put in the dumpling. All right, so I'm going to add my salt, then I'm going to combine the two the ingredients properly. There it is. All right, so I'm going to start the process, add water, mix, add more water. Be careful not to throw too much water in the mixture at a time because it will spoil the mixture, okay? So you gradually tip water, mix, tip water, mix to make sure that you don't over pour water so it's not spoiled, all right? So here is my final thing. Okay guys, so my pot is ready for the food. The first thing I'm gonna put is my dumplings. You just scoop a portion off, but damn, I can't make a good dumpling with gloves. All right, so just just um, pick a scoop off the entire um, dough, mix it around. You know how we do dumplings already. I don't think I need to go into it. I don't know how many dumplings I'm going to get out of this right now, but I don't think I really need all. Yeah, but nevertheless, I'm making dumplings, okay? Mix dumplings, put in a pot. Uh, they kind of look perfect, right? Yeah. When you mix the dough and let it rest for like about 5 or 10 minutes, it actually makes a dough, you know, it, it gives you smoother dumplings. Yeah. And then I'm going to add some salt to the pot. Okay, next up is my yellow yam. All peeled, washed, ready for the pot. So I'm going to put them in the pot with the dumpling right now. All right. And put the cover on. Next up, my green bananas. Um, Most Jamaicans know how it is so freaking hard to peel green bananas. Yo, a lot of persons don't like doing it. So what I do, I keep the water running um peel it underneath the water and it's so easy you know to peel that way all right so bananas are normally the last to go in the pot because it is soft it cooks easier when you add banana to food in the pot it kind of makes the water dark so adding some oil eliminates all of that okay while the pot is being boiled let's go to the saltfish here I have some onion, thyme, um, the okra, the string beans. I have a sweet pepper, tomatoes, green peppers as well. And here I have some garlic, some minced stop. And you know, I have my sawfish that is already there. I'm going to also have some bushes, baked bean. And also some ketchup for taste as usual. 
guys i've already added the oil to the pot it's hot right now so i'm gonna add the garlic then i'm gonna add the onion and the thyme fry them up a bit add the other um vegetables you know i'm frying them up right now Okay guys, so I'm making sure that my vegetables are fried up properly, not burned, but I mean, they want to be fried properly, you know, all the flavors are combining and shit, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to add the saltfish to the vegetables. It kind of looks like a lot to me. Remember, I'm not cooking for a whole lot of person, so I'll put the rest in the refrigerator. That's what I do. Guys, I freeze like everything. <laughs> I freeze everything. Anytime I have any leftovers, the first thing I do, I put it in the refrigerator to use another time. Yeah, that's what I do. All right, so here I'm gonna touch up my thing with some powder seasoning, black pepper. Don't overindulge guys it's kind of the fine hole so it's not a lot of black pepper being thrown on it now i'm going to use my easy spice all-purpose seasoning my jamaican seasoning then i'm going to add some fish seasoning so maggie fish seasoning remember it's a saltfish so fish seasoning come coming right now i'm going to add mrs dash i like to use mrs dash kind of whoops I didn't even realize that it's not on the small hole, people, but it's a good thing I didn't turn the bottle down. All right, so combine, 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 okay? Combine all ingredients being fried up and being, you know, cooked together. I'm now going to add the Bush's baked bean. I don't know. I bought a vegetarian baked bean but oh well it doesn't hurt so i'm gonna add the baked bean to the mixture and try to make sure i combine everything evenly you know i'm gonna empty the remainder out of the tin well i use everything right now normally i have remainder baked bean as well i do the same thing I just freeze all right all right so all right guys so the next thing that I'm gonna add is my ketchup ketchup gives everything flavor so why would I leave ketchup out you know so I sprinkle a little bit of ketchup and I'll go ahead and mix everything around once more while the heat is on. You know, it's going to take a little while to start frying again. All right, I'm going to taste it to see if it's to my liking, if I need to add anything of that sort, but it's good. All right. Now I'm going to add my okra and string beans. Because they were frozen, guys, I left them for last because, you know, when you take some stuff out of the refrigerator, it's, um, it cooks easier. So I left them for last. But normally, I would just fry them up with the seasoning, but I added here last. I mean, some persons like the okra to be firm and the string bean to be firm. Others like it to be soft, but... Here I added everything together and I'm going to cover the pot and let it simmer, okay? 
it's gonna simmer for a while. Looky, looky at my pot, guys. It's super clean. This is what the oil does, okay? Always remember to put some oil when you're cooking. It's super clean, but my food is ready. The banana is cooked. Everything is cooked. So it's time to take it off the fire. Okay, guys, so my sawfish is ready. It has been, after everything has been added, it has been sitting on the fire for about say five minutes or less so I'm ready to share here you guys go my finished product I'm gonna have it with some Milo tea thank you so much for watching for liking for sharing for subscribing and click the notification button so whenever I upload a video you'll be the first to see